Welcome back, Simona Cocchi, the Italian way. I'm here today to introduce one of the most prestigious Renaissance collective art show ever uh, displayed in Italy. I'm talking about the master of Renaissance, Tiziano, but he, he is not alone in this uh, colossal uh, uh, show is uh, with uh, Giorgione, Lotto, Palma il Vecchio, Veronese, Tintoretto and many more uh, because they wanted to tribute to the women uh, of uh, Renaissance as such a, a huge project. And here it is, this is the cover and uh, this is the um, main uh, uh, sponsors. Uh, this has been possible uh, thanks to Milano Municipality, but also with the help uh, of my beloved uh, Austrian friends uh, and uh, exactly the institution in this case is uh, the historical uh, uh, Kunz Historisches Museum Vienna. Sorry, my friends, my Austrian uh, friends, but uh, I'm really hopeless uh, with German. And this is the iconic uh, Royal Palace uh, um, in the heart of Milano by the side of Duomo. And this is the iconic uh, um, portrait uh, by Tiziano. They choose uh, to um, as uh, the manifesto of and the major uh, icon of this uh, uh, collective. Um, Titian has been uh, introduced in the super master uh, um, personas uh, um, also because he introduced uh, different techniques in paintings, uh, tone on tone. And so uh, instead of starting from uh, sketches or um, some form of uh, 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 structure, he started uh, directly working and playing with colors, uh, with the shades and different techniques that were unusual and never seen before. But uh, what is interesting now is to dive directly and to discover a little bit more um, what's behind uh, such a huge um, exhibition because uh, there is an art also and it's the art of communicating these uh, projects and also to structure uh, such an incredible uh, um, solo show, no, collective, sorry, there, is, there are more than 100 pieces, 16 are attributed from, uh, to Tiziano, of course. Uh, the curator is uh, Silvia Ferino, the main pa partner Fondazione Bracco, the media partner uh, Corriere della Sera, and Vera Lab, Erarium Chain Viva Ticket, Skira Editor uh, Publisher is the main uh, supporter um, by the scientific sites because he's the one that produces and uh, print the catalogs. And uh, but uh, let's discover some of the masterpieces related to this. So the first is the introductions. Then we have another section named portraits. Then another section for Venetian beauties. Uh, then open your heart. And then we have couples, uh, heroines and saints, uh, men's letters, um, polemics, art writers. The 11 section of the exhibitions are each one named and uh, uh, represents a particular uh, way of uh, uh, um, depicting the reality. So through these sections, you have a complete uh, um, uh, image and a complete, uh, um, you can um, experience a complete um, trip and journey uh, in Renaissance times. So you can understand the gestures, uh, the, the, the beauty features uh, and the styles and the, 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 the environment, uh, the um, the um, religious uh, uh, um, um, facts and many other things that you can easily um, uh, perceive from uh, these incredible uh, uh, 
works. But I'm talking not only about the paintings because uh, you can also admire sculptures, uh, object, applied arts, books, and graphic. Why this? Because they select also uh, um, different. Uh, 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 works uh, to create um, an incredible storytelling on uh, the uh, accessories uh, that uh, uh, were linked to these uh, incredible, uh, beautiful women. So normally, that time uh, it was really prestigious to uh, be depicted by a master, and so uh, Tiziano. I think uh, earned a lot of money that times because uh, he was rushing up and down in Italy and uh, portraying different uh, nobles and courtesans and, and other uh, political leaders. Uh, Tiziano was famous also to be one of the first to have a kind of factory instead of calling just a bottega. So he had a wide and very skilled team to work with him. And this is absolutely a fascinating uh, journey inside the Renaissance. And uh, this is the part that I wanted to screenshot for you. It's uh, the complete uh, um, list of uh, masterpieces uh, along with all the details uh, such as uh, the main features, uh, dimensions, uh, where they come from. Uh, so some of this work comes from St. Petersburg, uh, Hermitage, sometime, some, another from Vienna, the Kunsthorisch in, in, in Vienna. So most of the major works come from Vienna, so that's why they did this incredible partnership. And then uh, um, you see they also uh, uh, put and introduce in this uh, uh, path also the accessories uh, related to Renaissance and to the beauty of these women uh, that are wonderfully uh, shown on at Palazzo Reale. Um, I'm absolutely amazed uh, by the different also uh, paperworks they send me. So each scholars, each art uh, uh, critic uh, um, gave his point of view on these uh, shows. And so there is so much uh, to 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 study and so much to understand of each piece that is really an incredible journey and I suggest you to uh, if you come in Italy of course and if you have the chance to uh, go and to um, first uh, over oversee the 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 concept of this uh, show and then uh, to go and visit uh, Tiziano and uh, the image of women in uh, in Renaissance times because it's uh, the base to understand our culture and our uh, sense of uh, beauty uh, of art. But keep on staying tuned because I'm going to review a little bit more about this. Stay tuned. Simona Cocchi, The Italian Way. Ciao.